graduates, members of the platform party, teachers, staff, and administrators of the Vanny College community, parents, friends, and relatives, welcome to the Vanny College graduation ceremony for the class of 2019-2020. Let's join music student Serena Itri as we sing the O Canada National Anthem. I'd like to welcome Vanny College's Director General, John McMahon, to say a few words. Members of the Vanier College Board of Directors, dear members of the Vanier community, parents and friends, and especially graduates. I'm John McMahon, Director General of Vanier College, and it's a tremendous honor for me to welcome you to the 2020 Vanier College graduation ceremony. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs, et bienvenue à cette cérémonie de remise de diplômés du Collège Vanier. I would like to begin by acknowledging that Vanier College is located on unceded Indigenous lands. The Ganyungehaga Mohawk Nation is recognized as the custodians of the lands and waters on which Vanier is located. Jojage, Montreal, is historically known as a gathering place for many First Nations. Today, it is home to a diverse population of Indigenous and other peoples. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationships with Indigenous and other peoples within the Montreal community. Now, I've worked in education for the greater part of my life, and it always gives me great pleasure to attend graduation ceremonies because they offer an opportunity to celebrate everything our students have achieved over the last few years. Of course, this virtual ceremony is quite unique, and I'm sure it will be remembered for years to come. Who could have imagined that the final weeks of your studies at Vanier would be primarily via Zoom or Teams? I'd like to thank you for your resilience and perseverance during this crisis, and for ultimately reaching your academic goals. Kudos also to all your faculty and the staff who adapted to a challenging situation and remain focused on your success. For almost 50 years, Vanier has been producing talented individuals from a wide range of different programs who have gone on to make their mark on Quebec society or other parts of Canada. In fact, Vanier graduates are working in various sectors all over the world. So, as you watch this ceremony, knowing your diploma will soon be in hand, remember that as a Vanier College graduate, you are now part of this important heritage. CEGEPs remain an indelible part of Quebec's history and form an essential element of our province's identity. But enough with the history lesson. Tonight is all about celebrating you, the graduating class of 2020. As I'm sure you will all agree, Vanier College is a very special place to study. We are proud to offer a welcoming and warm environment 
and Vanier remains one of the most diverse colleges in North America with students from over 80 nationalities. We are a true microcosm of Montreal and our multicultural atmosphere promotes diversity and tolerance for others. Values that we all must cherish, respect and promote, especially during these challenging times. I'm sure that when you first arrived at Vanier, numerous challenges awaited you as you began another important chapter in your life. Perhaps you were a recent high school graduate who quickly realized that the 15-week semester goes very quickly and balancing seven or eight courses could create just a little bit of stress. Or maybe you were returning to Sejep after several years working and struggled with the new or additional demands of being a college student. I'm sure many of you worked at least part-time during your time at Vanier or had to balance other family responsibilities. And of course, these can be very challenging. But you're sitting here this evening because you met those challenges through hard work, dedication, and commitment to succeed. Thus, mission accomplished. Given what you have achieved, I think you are all deserving of hearty congratulations. So I would ask that all of the parents, friends, and loved ones watching tonight, please join me in giving the graduates a round of applause. Now I'd also like to ask the graduates to look around you, whoever's sitting with you, whether it be friends, partners, family, give them some thanks because they supported you in getting to where you are today, graduates of Vanier College. Now usually the diplomas uh, you receive would be handed out by teachers, the same teachers who have guided you, helped you and supported you throughout your studies. Others from the Vanier community, our support staff and professionals, as well as our administrators, share a common commitment with faculty that your success is our number one priority. We are extremely motivated to continue our educational mission to remain a college that always places students at the heart of all its endeavors. Comme diplômé du Collège Vanier, vous avez un devoir et un rôle important. Amenez notre société à un cran supérieur en excellant dans votre domaine. Tout au long de votre vie, nous vous invitons à voir grand et loin afin de vivre l'expérience de nombreuses réussites à l'auteur de vos rêves. And while we are all here tonight to celebrate this important milestone, there are still many challenges and adventures that lie ahead for all of you. And if I can offer any advice, it would be to simply embrace life in all its twists and turns. The path you're embarking upon may change, and lead to wonderful places not even in your thoughts at the moment. More than 40 years ago, I was where you are, wondering what the future would be. My plans were initially to enter the Air Force as a pilot, but I missed a meeting with a citizenship judge and had to delay that for one year. Somebody had recommended McGill, a one-year program to prepare to be a high school teacher. I said yes. My first stage placement was at Hudson High School in the west, just off the West Island of Montreal, and I fell in love with teaching. The next year, there were no jobs in Montreal or anywhere in the large cities of Canada, only in the far north. So I went to the far north. I said yes, and started working with the Inuit in northern Quebec. And that began one of the most adventurous parts of my life, and one of the most rewarding. So say yes, embrace life, and say yes to the unknown adventures that lie ahead and live your life to the fullest. Now some of you may be entering the labor force immediately following your graduation, while many others will go on to study at the university level. No matter which path you have chosen, I just want to say what an honor it has been for all of us here at Vanier that you have been with us for the last few years. In closing, working in the educational sector is a true privilege. Whether you're a teacher, manager, or staff member, you get to see students grow as individuals. And that is truly a rewarding experience. I would like to say that the Vanier community is like one big family. 
and tonight we are very grateful to share this special moment with you. But once the ceremony is over, I ask that you always keep a piece of Vanier close to your heart, as we will surely keep a piece of you in all our collective hearts, minds, and memories. Although you are leaving Vanier, we know you'll continue to make your mark in life. On behalf of the college, we wish you much happiness, success, and prosperity in the future. Let me join your parents, friends, and loved ones in saying how proud I am of your achievements. This is your moment to shine, so enjoy yourselves tonight. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Please welcome Vanier College's Academic Dean, Annie-Claude Fanville. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Let's take a moment to recognize your successes and share how proud we are of all of you. This year, you may not be in such a mood to celebrate. I understand, my daughter is a graduate this year too. But let's remember that we are not just celebrating getting through the last few weeks, but acknowledging the end of many years of work. Let's not bog down to what you missed over the last few weeks, but what you gained, learned, and discovered about yourselves over the last few years. I would like to add to that, but before I do, I usually take this time at graduation to recognize the excellence in one of our faculty by presenting the Vanier College Teaching Excellence Award recipient. It is important to recognize the value of our educators and to celebrate inspirational teachers and actors of your success. In the context of this exceptional year, the committee designed, uh, designated to make this recommendation and academic council have recommended that we suspend the award in these unprecedented times. Instead, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize all the actors of the Vanier community who demonstrated the student-centered approach that we have at Vanier. I would like to thank the dedicated faculty who adapted their courses, pedagogical activities, communications, tools to help you. Okay, maybe in some cases I also have to thank you for helping them figure out how to share a document or remember to unmute themselves. A large number of teachers um, followed workshops, took the time to learn new tools at the same time as managing their own kids or parents. Students shared how they appreciated those who made the time for academic relationships, for extra tutoring, who listened with empathy to your needs and accommodated you when needed. I would like to thank the professionals who created tools for you or for faculty to ensure support and a structure for your success. With support staff, they called students in needs to make sure we reach those who faced difficult or motivational challenges. I would like to thank managers in the academic sector, but also across the college, who stepped up to plan multiple scenarios and work behind the scenes to defend what you needed plan multiple evolving scenarios, prevent problems, and find solutions. Do not forget the last few years' challenges. Remember them. Remember those difficult projects, notions, assessments. Flooding an ECE, cancelled trip to Malawi, France, or Switzerland, and this historic pandemic. They pushed you to innovate, be creative, find your in inner resources and collaborate. My grandparents were shaped by the Great Depression and told me stories about it, what they learned, how it, it impacted how they lived with values for sustainability, the environment, friendship and collaboration, using what you need, appreciating what you have, your help. I was interested and listened carefully these stories also, also shaped who I was. You are the generation that lived and succeeded in the challenges of COVID-19. My grandparents, after surviving multiple huge challenges, including living without electricity or water in a former chicken coop with two babies and having to work to survive 
in a time where most women did not work, ended up retiring at age 53 to travel and enjoy life together and with friends. They were happy and were convinced a huge part of their happiness was due to the challenges they succeeded. History repeats itself, not in an identical way, but with similar life lessons. Use this to make your life better. Use this to remind yourselves that you have succeeded in challenging times. You can do it again. That might be in the next few months or later in your life. But remember that you have what it takes to succeed. Remember also that you did not do it alone. Take the time in the next few days to thank your parents, your siblings, your friends for their support and hug them for helping you. They are also missing the opportunity to scream out at graduation to say how proud they are. You are now part of the Vanier alumni. We are celebrating you as one of the great things about Vanier. You are part of the family now and forever. I look forward to seeing you again in Vanier events or hearing about your future successes. Trust yourselves. Dream big. Change the world. Congratulations, class of 2020. It is an honor to introduce to you your valedictorian for the class of 2019-2020, health science student and Olympic athlete, Jacqueline Simono. Good evening, fellow students, parents, distinguished teachers, mentors, and administrators. Today we, the class of 2019-2020, become Vanny graduates. I must state the obvious here and say that I believe that we are the first students at Vanny to graduate during a pandemic. And what a wild ride it's been. As we take the time to celebrate our graduation today, we can also reflect upon some of the lessons we have learned here at Vanny, both personally and academically. I'd like you to take a moment and close your eyes, if you will. Do you remember applying to the program of your choice and the apprehension you experienced, and the feeling of opening that envelope or email, not knowing what was inside? Now, think back to your first time at Vanier, whether that be at an open house, or perhaps your first day of classes, aimlessly wandering through the halls, trying to find your next classroom or your assigned locker. Now, think about your state of mind, your personal goals, and what you knew about the world back then. Those were all happy moments, but we were all strangers experiencing them solo. Today is another happy moment, even happier, because we get to share the experience of this, our collective success. Now open your eyes. I don't know about you, but my personal depth of knowledge has increased drastically, and I have grown as a student athlete, and person since stepping foot at Vanier. I think we could even consider ourselves as adults now. My first time stepping foot in Vanier College several years ago, I was simply a young student athlete aspiring to compete at the Olympic Games and continue my studies so that I may have the base to hopefully go to medical or dental school one day. Fast forward to our graduation day, I have been blessed to have been allowed to compete at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games become Canada's first four-time gold medalist at the Pan American Games in synchronized swimming, become a multi-World Series medalist, and qualify for my second Olympic Games, which will hopefully be held in Tokyo next summer, but don't even get me started on that one. All while studying at Vanier with the amazing help of our teachers and administrators, without whom none of this would be possible. Despite all of these activities and accomplishments, I would be incomplete without achieving my goal of graduating from Vanier, one of my proudest accomplishments thus far. I remember sitting in the task center, problem solving some web works with some fellow classmates, or hanging out in the robotics club, or even just sitting outside in between end building and watching the squirrels climb up from the garbage bins. And in those moments, I thought that this graduation day would never come. <laughs> but I'm proud to say, and not without a sigh of relief, that we made it. Congratulations to each and every one of you on your continued awesomeness. 
I'm going to level with you here and share that my Vanier experience has lasted a whole six years, probably the equivalent to an educational marathon. Every one of you who have completed your deck in less than six years has my utmost respect and admiration. They say that life is like a mountain. It's hard to climb, but worth the amazing view at the top. The best views come after the hardest climbs. Today marks the end of one of our climbs, and we're now off on our individual paths that will continue to determine who we will become and what we will do. Obstacles have been overcome, and all of the climbing we have done here at Vanier will help shape us into future lawyers, medical professionals, social workers, engineers, ecologists, accountants, and much more. Although these are unprecedented times, I have no doubt that all the skills we have learned here at Vanier will help us make our mark in this ever-changing world. Vanier alumni continuing the tradition by making the world a better place. I like the sound of that. The world may be a mess, but it's now ours, so let's get out there and do something about it. But first, let's give ourselves a round of applause and smile on a job well done. This isn't a goodbye, it's an au revoir. Wishing each and every one of you the best of health, happiness, and my heartfelt and humbled thanks for allowing me the privilege of representing us as valedictorian. Au revoir. We will now proceed with the award presentations by your faculty deans. Hello, my name is Isabelle Delille, and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of General Education. I'm here to present the awards under my faculty. The first one is the Prix Lucienne Namer, and it goes to Lily Putterman Saltzman. The second award is the Joël Richard Memorial Fund, and it is awarded to India Lynn Upsha Ruffner. The third award is the Meg Circum Memorial Scholarship, and it goes to Mafuzara Parvin. Congratulations to all three. Hello, I'm Haritos Cavallos. I'm the Dean for the Faculty of Science and Technology here at Vanier College. The first award is the John Pitt Architectural Technology Scholarship, and it is awarded to Miriam Puganwala. The Martin Richstone Memorial Fund Scholarship is awarded to Dennis Shashao. The following awards are offered to students in the nursing program. First, we have the Royal Victoria Hospital Alumni Association Award for Academic Excellence in Nursing. The recipients are Olivia Dilala, Megan Demare, and Giovanna Primorano. Second award is the Royal Victoria Hospital Alumna Association Award for Clinical Excellence in Nursing. We have two recipients, Desiree Mokoyak and Andrea Fasciano. The Royal Victoria Hospital Alumna Association Award Students' Choice, Megan Demare. And finally, special mention for honorable effort in clinical, Alicia Ritchie Rowlands. We also have the Christine Ramalotti uh, Award for Caring in Nursing. And this goes to students um, who embodied the values of empathy and teamwork. This is awarded to Tiana Simon. Uh, hello, I'm Alina Peru, Faculty Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Business, and Social Sciences, and I will be presenting the awards under my faculty. The recipients of the Ruby Narfo Memorial Fund are Luca Baldassare and Antonia Dianova Encheva. The recipient of the Jim O'Neill Memorial Fund Scholarship is Anoa Lopez de Hera. The following awards and scholarships are offered to students in the music program. The Canadian Amateur Musicians Graduation CAMAC goes to Alexander Pajetsky Achmarina. The Lessie Kimmel Music History Scholarship goes to Alexander Ortins. The Glenna Furlan Ear Training Scholarship goes to Carl Eck. The Robert F. Jones Composition Scholarship goes to Elise Woolman. The Cy Cooper Band Scholarship goes to 
Alexander Ortens. The Nadia Turbide Scholarship goes to Carl Eck. The Noel Spinelli Classical Voice Scholarship goes to Serena Eitri and Maria Capoglis. And the Oliver Jones Jazz Scholarship goes to Mark Tetro. Hello, my name is Christina Sichon and I'm the Director of Student Services. I have the pleasure today of introducing to you the 2020 Student Life Award recipients. The Student Life Award distinguishes graduating students who, aside from academic achievement, deserve recognition for their commitment, integrity, and perseverance in contributing to Vanier's student life. Excellence in leadership, effort, and the ability to motivate and involve others are often the qualities exhibited by Student Life Award recipients. This year's recipients are Adamo Diallo, Hawa Diallo, David Haba, Lincoln Gallego Macadangdang, Mary Lou Limoges, Nivia Balasubramaniam, and now the Allen Lydiard Memorial Fund Scholarship. This is awarded to Yi Hang Wang. Congratulations to the class of 2019-2020. Your hard work has definitely paid off. Now, as a Vanny alumni, you may join Vanny Connect to stay connected to the Vanny community. Because once a Vanny College graduate, you will always be part of Vanny College's alumni. You made it! Yeah.